sensory perception. So our uh, sensory, we just know how how cold or how hot our body. We just do a touch it directly. Next, what happened in the 17th and 18th century? Yeah, uh, this is the invention era of the momentum and standardization of steel. So this is the first uh, thermometer. Yeah. Like this, and then it's starting by the Galileo thermoscope, we call it. And then in 1724, uh, Fahrenheit were introduced. Yeah. This is the, the 17th century, and then it's continued to 19th century. Yeah. This is Lord Kelvin from the name, we took, uh, we took name uh, scale slide Kelvin in 1840. Eight. And then also uh, this, the gas thermometry uh, of ethic uh, happened in this uh, 19th century. Next to uh, 20th century, this is already defined by uh, digital thermometer, infrared thermometer, and then there's also the slide test thermocouples, maybe. Uh, most of this thermometer is already like and of this digital, yeah. This is the modern era in the 21st century. Now, okay, what happened? What do you think in the 21st century? Yeah, maybe in our room, maybe in certain uh, places in the certain uh, country, yeah, there will be a modern temperature sen sensing technology. This is used by wireless temperature. So if you put a slide uh, wireless temperature, you will get information. It's not only it's like a face detector. Yeah. Uh, in the airport, some of uh, passengers coming that already already clear. So we can check yeah how hot they are, how, how hot they are, and the temperature of the body will be detected by uh, sensor. Yeah. This is uh, in the 21st century. So this is. Uh, the history from the ancient method and then continue until the 21st century. So, okay, uh, when you need a thermometer, okay, you want to be volunteer to us. When you need a thermometer, not only when we get a second, the other one, okay, when you need a thermometer, for example, in the hospital. So, the doctor use for what is it? Yeah, check our body temperature for what kind of illness? Fever. It's like fever, cold, yeah, like this. Yeah. Okay, this is very important things why thermometers need to be uh, applied in the medical setting. Yeah, this is to diagnose illness such as fever, hypothermia, and hypothermia. Yeah. And then, how about the laboratory? So, if you Maybe some lab yeah, in the future you work in laboratory, you work in as a research, yeah, you work as a that's related to medical uh, factory or uh, like um, scientific research also. They will be like this, yeah. This is the digital uh, thermometer that is for conducting experiment, monitoring reactions, and measuring specific temperature. Various process. So uh, the temperature will be standardized yeah, below this uh, temperature. So it is uh, for controlling and monitoring the quality of the product. Jadi nggak boleh ini ya. Lebih dari temperature ini. This is very important thing. Because what? Because if you know, it's like a COVID vaccine. Yeah, it would be storage in a full of COVID. Area. So the vaccine pandemics like uh, that we consumed uh, 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 two years ago, the government or the uh, doctor or the maybe the health, uh, the government uh, storage the uh, vaccine in the cold area. Jadi harus dingin, vaksin itu harus di Next. How is cooking and food preparation? It is important things we learn temperature. 
is important, right? Yeah. Of course, uh, how we know the food is healthy, and then uh, we put the proper cooking uh, temperature in the kind of food. Yeah. If you buy some like frozen food, you have to put in what is it? Like the refrigerator, right? Yeah. And then you put in what is it uh, in your chiller? Is yes, if you buy something like a fish, you put in chiller. And then how about your if you buy eggs? You buy in refrigerator or you prefer to be placed in, in a, a temperature of room? Which one? Ringan mana kalau laut telur di di suhu ruangan atau suhu dingin? Freezer ya. Jadi still in refrigerator plus like this. Okay, that very important thing. Also we learn temperature. Thanks. How about in the industrial and manufacturing process? It's quite same with uh, before, yeah. To monitor and control temperature in manufacturing process, so to keep it uh, in maintaining optimum temperature during production. Okay, and then this is also um, type of system we need for heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Maybe uh, some of you in your home, your floor uh, to become more heat, yeah. Become more head or when, especially not only in Indonesia because we are tropic, yeah, in tropical, uh, maybe in the, like in Korea and maybe in the uh, Japan or uh, in Europe, yeah, the floor of their house is uh, what is this? Uh, applied with the HVAC system. So when the snow coming, the room still hot. Yeah. This is the function. Next, the automatic and the mechanical application, yeah, especially for the boys. Do you know which one is the indicator for the temperature? Mm. Can you show me? Please come forward. Yeah, not only boys, but we want to try. Which one? Just, just point directly. Point. Which one is the indicator for temperature? Come on, just, just come. Just show me which one. Yeah, which one is cold? Yeah, and then. Okay, yes. Yeah, what's the first name? Uh, yeah, okay. Especially boys, maybe boys uh, often use uh, your father's car and you find which one to What happens if the indicator point to what degrees? Yeah, what happens? So overheat? Overheating. Yeah, overheating. That is what I'm saying. It will be happen if you, uh, yeah, uh, Sebentar lagi mudik ya, ya kamu, kamu mau mudik, terus macet panjang, tanya ayahnya atau bundanya, uh, lihat temperaturnya, temperaturnya uh, is middle up to heat or middle up to cold, ya. itu seperti apa gitu. Tapi kalau di pagi hari kecuan, cold or cold? Cold, cold, cold ya. Yeah. Your car it must be uh, the middle point to cold, ya. Yeah. It means that uh, the mission of your car is still cold, right? So this is very important too, important too, to learn temperature in the automotive and mechanical applications. Next. Okay, weather forecasting. This is also important to know certain area in a certain country. Uh, the government put the weather uh, slide detector for to measure air temperature and point data for the weather forecasting and for the climate. Okay, thanks. So now we are come to thinking questions. Yeah, same as like usual. I want you to make in your group. Yeah, okay, I mean group. So you can, uh, what is it, join with your friends. Yeah, join with your friends. Do you want four like this or, yeah, one, two, three, four in one group. In this, uh, the next group, it is for you. Group and then for you one two three four and the boys the boys divided into two groups yeah so it means two three four five six so there's only six group right so I group I want you to do one yeah. sorry yes you make a square it's okay. Or to make it easier, you can make a uh, square.
The first one, you have to find the formula first.
And then also, this is very important thing. This knowledge empower us yeah, to make informed decisions about their surrounding and activity, watching different connection with the world around them. It means that you make your own decisions. You know where you have to put your food. You know when you have to use your food when uh, temperature hot or cold. Yeah, and then. Uh, well, it's, you can make a decision if you find your car, your parent, your parents' car is getting heat over heating. Yeah, so it means you have to stop. Yeah, you have to stop uh, before your car to be broken. Yeah, I think thank you very much for uh, our class today. And for today, the winner is how many points did you get? This group, right? Yeah. Um, and we give a pause to this group. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much for your attention. And see you next week uh, with the other students. Thank you very much. We say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thank <laughs> you.